We are back. We are back. How long has it been? A few weeks. A few weeks. That was very anticlimactic. I thought you were going to say like years or... I don't know. It's been 17 years. All right, let's get into it. What is up, YouTube? It's James from Robin Henry Watches. We are back after a short break. Uh, wristwatch check. Uh, I am wearing the Tudor Black Bay 58. No, it's not 58. It's, it's the 41. Ah, it's, ah, it's the 41. I'm having flashbacks. See, it's <laughs> exactly. not just me. It's the dark. It's the penis breath edition. It's been getting a lot of wear recently. It's what my, are you wearing? It's my misinformation creeping in. I am wearing something soon to be seen in the shop. Shh. Also, you know, I gave you the good cherry. Brandy. I did notice that, and it's appreciated. And what am I drinking? Tennessee. No, Pen? Cavossier. Oh, good old Cavossier. Didn't we open that when we first start filming in oh, the we, studio? We go through a lot of bottles, to be fair. So, mm. in my house, you have brandy or water. I thought it was the studio. What about brandy with water? What are your views on brandy with water? Do people do that? Yeah. I don't. Losers. Well, there you go. Excuse my language. Anyway, I'm in charge today. Good, because I don't know what we're doing. No, so we talked a while ago about Bond and his many, many watches. Probably about, that's probably about a year and a half ago now. At least a year, yeah. But what we have It was a lot talked, of fun, that one. It was I enjoyed that fun. one. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. That was when we researched. Videos. Exactly. Well, I've done some research. I've got 12 pages of research here. It's very simplistic. Cool. Um, so what we what are we actually doing then? We're actually going to be doing a hot or not, or, or a, let, let's call it a smash or pass in, in today's... Smash or pass? That's, that's, I'm I told, don't like the connotation as, of smashing things. <laughs> as, as, as the kids seem to say these days, smash or pass. Not on Bond's watches, but on the, the like 40 billion special edition... Bond watches. Oh, okay. All right. So, starting out. By the way, is smash or pass actually a thing? Smash or pass is a thing. You usually do it to rate people. Oh. Smash okay. being, yeah, <laughs> okay. or pass. All right. So, smash or Lovely. pass. Lovely. Really classy. The Casino Royale Planet Ocean. Pass immediately. So, for me, I presume you're putting pictures of these up. No, no, no. We're just going to use a four pieces of paper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll tell you why I'm out. Uh, the 007 on, on the, the counterweight on the seconds hand, mm. awful. I want to like it, but I hate that. The rubber strap, okay. The thin bezel, which has got a weird silver line around it. I don't get that. No. Um, I like the fact that the case back is solid, um, but it says Casino Royale with the seven and the gun. Uh, close, but pass. No cigar. No, no cigar. cigar. Definitely no cigar. Okay. Well, let's let's go a bit more recent then. The Seamaster No Time to Die. So close. Now, so this one, allegedly, Daniel Craig had input on it. <laughs> take, take the fact that I'm you hate the film out. away. I'm, and him. I'm going to be objective. I love the bracelet. I think that's cool. Mm. I love the fact that it's titanium. Cool. It's too big. What's it? 43? Four, it's not 42. No. It's got to be 43, surely. Really? Correct us down in the comments. I think it's 43. Mm. It might well be. I, I thought it was 42. The faux patina as well. I suppose well. going lighter would make sense that it's bigger now. I remember the first time I tried it on um, when I was allowed in a certain jeweller's <laughs> over here. Hey, we saw um, a couple. Um, oh, yeah, I have actually. Yeah. Anyway, I'm talking about the first time I tried it because I thought, no, I'm going to absolutely hate it. It's too big. I am swear it's 43. Anyway, put it on. I was actually like, oh, it's all right because because of the weight. But mm. yes, it was horribly too big. I don't get why they needed to put the faux patina in, and they overdid it with this. It's really brown. It's like is, tobacco Is it brown. faux patina or is it just the colour way they've They'll say it's just cream, but it's, let's be honest, we know what they're doing. Mm. Um, I do like the military chevron at the bottom. That's that's cool. But it's not a military watch. Well, no, if it's got a military chevron on, then it is a listed thing that you can re requisition in the military. So... They normally does, they, they but... normally put them on military issued watches. Yeah. Um, I'm still gonna pass. It's not a big pass, and I'm not gonna you know crap all over this one. It's just was that a see through case back as well? I can't remember display case back. Uh, I can't actually I, remember now. I'm gonna say that it because it was on the NATO when I saw it. We've sold them, so we should know. It but... was on the NATO when we sold it. Uh, yeah, I know when it comes off, but, yeah, but I didn't. I don't go stripping I, our watches. I can't remember, and honestly, I don't care because I'm out because of the size. Okay. So, 
It's a so, no for so me. So it's a meh. Yeah, yeah. A little bit controversial then. The, I believe that's the Spectre Aquaterra. 17,007 gauss or 15,007 gauss? Um, I actually think this one is actually okay. Really? Uh, yeah. It's horrible. But it's not, it's not too full on. But yeah, I, I thought it was all right because it wasn't like 2007. There is that 007. That's kind of cool. Figures. I think that's all right. I think for it, me, it's that they right. mesh the whole like the very regal looking dial, but with a very functional I thought it was Watch. all right. So I believe that that one came out the same time as that one. Um, uh, no, I'm pretty sure that's Spectre. Yes, sorry, you're right. Yes, that came out the same time as the Spectre model. The Spectre model was like really hot and in mm, demand. Don't talk about it. <laughs> but this one was like the ugly sister. Mm. No one wanted it. But actually, it was all right. It was all right. So uh, a very light smashing. Like, a nut. A, a gentle... <laughs> a gentle nut. What, what's the Tenacious D song for Gently? Uh, I don't know. Um, okay. Let's do a, a T and H on this one. Three, two... Pass. No. It's, a, it's <laughs> definitely a pass. Listen... Uh, this is the Fleming edition Seamaster we've talked about, by the way. Yeah, and listen, they tried going all... What was their reason there? Because they were really positive about it, so, and then they tried so backtracking the, on it. The bezel colourways was the Jamaican... Flag. Yeah, I remember. What was flag. the reason, though? Like, in the in Christian's uh, video from T&H, they were, like, super positive about it, and then he, like, tried backtracking. I can't remember now. Maybe I've... it was a case back, but for me, yeah, the gem setting, uh, the, the colour of the stones w was is meh. Um... They're artificially coloured, I believe. Yeah. The silicone dial, big, it's all premium, premium canopus, silicone. white gold. But was it 140 grand or it's something? Nuts. I mean, nuts. at that point, you're just so up and out there because obviously you want to draw comparisons to the the Rolex Daytona Rainbow win, mm -hmm. which is just next level and a lot cheaper. So pass, 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 definitely pass, pass. 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 I know what you're gonna say. And I'm still undecided. The Spectre Seamaster. Yeah, this is this is a smash for me. Um, I think they got a lot of things right. This was the first time as well, outside of the Snoopy, that Amiga had a, had a big hit. Mm. What year was this? Was it 2018? Yeah. It's around it that time. It took several years for No Time to Die to come out, um, so yeah. But this was a hot watch, so it was hard to get. It was trading over premium. I, it probably still is, not that I've checked, because who cares? But they got a lot of things right on this one. The lollipop seconds hand, I think, was cool. Mm. Um, the NATO, obviously, which... We, let's, we let's, don't see in Bond very often anymore, either. And let's be clear, this Bond NATO was stolen <laughs> from Dr. No and, and technically from Rolex or allegedly um, Sean Connery. I think I said in one video it was his watch because I read that somewhere and someone corrected me and said, no, yeah, it wasn't. There's, there's two bond so, natives. There's that one. I think the, the black, person, greeny, red one. I think the person that told me was quite knowledgeable, so I'll go with what they told me. Yeah. But th there's a lot of misinformation out on the internet. But anyway, I, I like the nod to that. I thought this was really cool um, it, when it came out. It was at a good price point. I like the bezel being numbered 1 to 11 mm. uh, in the style that it is. It had that kind of vintage nod. But without being overly faux vintage push in your face, but with the modern um, yeah. you know, materials. I don't think and it's be... their fault I dislike it. I think I just dislike all the Heritage 300s and that's that's the problem. I'll give one me. thing. All of these watches, though, because I haven't touched, I'm just going off aesthetics. Uh, but obviously they've all got, you know, fantastic movements. Yeah, which of course they do. Amiga, I'll never fault them on. I think, you know, their push for increasing... Um, the... Oh, what Pushing the bar. Pushing the button, they they go ahead each time. With they don't really need to, you know, like they did with um, you know the Daniel's coaxial movement mm. um, and all the other things that they've done, you know, with, with their movement. So yeah, for me, that's their definite smash. That's got to be the best one. If one thing wasn't there, I would say it was a hundred percent smash. But I'm gonna say pass. Quantum of Solace, Planet Ocean. Well. From memory, this one came out when the Planet Ocean was was their flagship dive watch, when it was hot. Mm -hmm. um, for me, the the Quantum of Solace, the fact that it's set into the into the sapphire glass is kind of cool. Although I'd just rather it not be on the front. 
Um, I get. I why... remember you hating it once upon a time. You've mellowed. Yeah, well, I get on reflection. I get why they did it because they're tying it to the film. Yeah. Um, I'm even okay with the 007 case back. I but... think that's cool. That's minimalist, and I like it. Yes, I agree. So I, I'll come around to that. I don't. I don't like it on the clasp. I don't like the 007 on the clasp. No, that feels tacky to me, I agree. Because it's a bit like... It's a bit... It's like they're trying too, to stamp 007 it's too everywhere. It's gimmicky and a bit toyish. Like, if you were out, you know, let's say you're at like a really nice bar, you've got your... You've got to hide it. I mean, that would just... That's just me. I'd just be a bit you like... You want to be an Amiga fan first and then a 007 fan second. So you've yes. bought it because it's Amiga... And it's got W7 rather than buying the, the W7 the, watch. The dial texture I like. Um, I really like everything else about it. It's just that. But yes, the Quantum of Solace, that's a bit too full on for me, but I think they did it as well as they could do being on the glass because mm. um, at least it was doing something different with it. But the, it's, uh, Sorry, on, on the, on the um, front sapphire, but yeah. the clasp was, was too much for me. Yeah. So I'm going to pass. Where do we go now? This is like a really old-fashioned Tinder or something, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Um, Not that I've been on Tinder, by the way. I just want to put that out there. Okay. Have you ever seen that meme where it's like, Mum, can I get this? And Mum's like, no, we've got it at home. And then it switches like this at home. Mm -hmm. You do know what I mean? No. Or it's like, oh, can I get that Action Man figure? And she's like, no, we've got Action Man at home. Well, know, it's I not Action Man. It's like a knockoff Action Man. Oh, right. Okay. okay. So, I get the gist. So this is Action Man at home, I think, still. I still don't like it. No, so someone put, I'm in a WhatsApp group where someone, they didn't buy it, but they put it up that they tried it on and everyone was like, yeah, it's cool. And then a few were like, no, and they were actually criticizing the bracelet, which I don't have a problem with it. Mm. I, I think I think the mesh bracelet's good. One point that, that I would say is that someone on that group, they said, is Amiga ever going to get their bracelets right? And I was straight, I was like, no, they're not. They, they have, a, to contradict have. myself, with this one... Speedmaster, they've nailed. They have. Well, they've, they've nailed and they haven't. They've nearly got there, but I'm not still 100% happy with the clasp adjustment because you see it's only got those yeah. two holes and then you've got this protruding link that yeah, comes it out. it looks better, but it's, it's not much better. And this bracelet, which is a little bit President-esque, yeah. it's much better. Very dressy. Um, but no, this is a pass for me. There, there's some things that I love the dial on it. I like the bezel. Um, yeah, especially because I didn't know this existed. But Allow me to introduce bone. Action Man in the shop. That's the 40th Bond anniversary oh, okay. Seamaster I didn't know existed. I yeah, think I've that's seen, a far better execution. I've seen this before. And yes, it is. Uh, I believe this has got a solid case back as well. Yeah. Um, but I like for, the for subtle me, dial pattern. The, with this newer one, this whole little cartoon thing on the back is not for me. I don't think it's cool. It's too gimmicky. Um, I, I kind of get it, but it's a real mess with the movement behind it. This one, yeah, I like it. I mean, when did this one come out? That's the 40th anniversary, so 20 years ago. Yeah, that's cool. And, and that was period and correct. And it's got 007 printed very subtly in the back of the dial as well. It's just like, it's like mosaic printed throughout. You can't really see it very well in that picture, but... Oh, I see. Maybe they should have taken the 007 off the yeah, dial if they think. had that in the background, yeah. but... Yeah, I, w I would take that one. Have you ever... I've really come across... <laughs> that, that's, a dr that's a drinking game. Have you ever come across the Commander's Watch? Yes, I, do, I have, because I've sold one, and do you know who... Do you hate it? No, not I don't hate <laughs> it. Do you know who had one of these? No. Do you remember a, a mutual friend of ours called Anthony... Of course he had one. So he got one. Um, oh. He didn't use me, by the way, which I feel a little bit offended oh. by. But he did ask me for some advice and he got himself a great deal. Yes, I do like this one. I like it because the box is is very minimalist for Amiga, but it's a bit metal-like. Yes. Which I, I like. I really like what it stands and for. And also, this was a really, for Amiga, low-key release. Mm. And I just thought, it's actually quite tasteful. The second hand again of the 007 counterweight, not mm. not to me, but I like the fact that it came with a bracelet and the NATO, yeah. and you had the tool to do it. The dial's tasteful, so yeah, I, I would I would I would give it a a medium, a medium poking. Fashion. Yes, I don't know for me it's weird because like the case, but that's probably the best executed. Well, yeah, listen, case back they, I've seen in a long time. I, I like the gold. Well, yeah. to be fair, the whole rotor, it, it, it's only accented in gold. Yeah. I think it should have all been gold. I like it? what it stands for. I just think I don't like the red, white, blue thing going on, but obviously there's a reason for that. Yeah. It's just a bit... I, I thought if, if you're going to get yourself a 007, 
you know, uh, nodded, nod to 007 watch. That, that's a tasteful way to go. Yes. As is, I think this is probably the best executed. Oh, here we go. The 50th anniversary Seamaster. <sighs> the dial printing. Oh, I like that It's dial too printing. much. It's too much. I um, think pictures make it look worse than it is in reality, though. It's it, they've got to show it up in the pictures, so therefore it can't yeah, be subtle. Yeah, I hear you, but there's too many 007s in my eyes. Um, it should so, be so, six. So Five. Uh, I pass. I'm afraid Plus. because listen, it's it's generally quite tasteful. But what have they done so much? All they've done is lob 007 printed, repeat, repeat, repeat. After it's a bit like collaborating with Supreme. I like I like what they've done with the fifty. I think that's kind of cool. It's subtle. It's better than what they did with the sixtieth. Yeah. Because and finally, you would I think you would like it, except for two things: the case back and what it's for. So what is this one for? This is the 50th anniversary, but not of Bond, but of... The films, is it? On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Uh, oh. <laughs> I mean, that aside, <laughs> the box is... Too, I mean, what's that? A royal seal or something? I think it's a paperweight. Why do I need a paperweight with a watch? Hey, the speakers just do it. I'm sorry, this... Um, What's the technical word for this? This like emblem. There's a word for it, like a it's like insignia. A, I don't know, a family like crest. Oh, family shield. It's an insignia. It's awful. Ruined. Mm. Um, Everything else was class. I, the dial is okay. Even the gold accenting on the skeleton hands. And um, on the twelve as well. I think that's kind of cool. They've gone for the the commander. Oh yeah. But the case Same. back, the problem is, I know firsthand what a bad case back will do for a watch. When you live with it day in, day out, you know that it's there. And then you take a £3,000 loss on it, right? That you have to report on your accounts. <sighs> and it's, it's painful. And then you've got to explain to people why that happened. Yes. It's quite depressing. Listen, you live and you learn, but a bad case back does ruin a watch. You do know about it. You do look at it. So, no. Pass. So am I to take that the best bond for you is the Spectre? Oh, 300. by a country mile, a hundred percent. And it's not about just because. Well, it's not, it's not. No, not just because. It's not because that it traded over retail. I couldn't give a crap about that. I'd rather if it had been cheaper and it hadn't sold, I would have bought it. I wanted one. Mm. One, I wasn't um, in favour uh, for having one at the time because I was still in with <laughs> the uh, uh, Amiga people. Um, here but I didn't push for it I wasn't ever going to pay retail over it because I didn't love it that that much but it's a cool it's definitely the best one 100% yeah, definitely. I mean you know disagree in the comments but I'm I happy disagree. to discuss it I'm, I'm digging this one out this is this is the one. oh god I'm pretty sure that's the one with the case back with the swirly with the bullet in the middle as well well one you should have brought that up as part of your fact finding which you failed to do well, yet again would that have changed that for you no um, well, that doesn't matter. I think our viewers that are getting free content for nothing deserved you. Hey, uh, hey, they are still going to get that because I have a time machine. To be fair, we have monetized the video, so I'm going to make about 20p from this video. If that. Uh, we, the, the electric on that light, <laughs> let alone, you know, the other electric going on here and, and our time. But anyway. Why, why do we monetize it? I mean... Every 20p adds up eventually. To be fair, I think we make about £2 something a month. So we could buy Pagani in like a few years. A few years. <laughs> anyway, let's get into something also cool. Um, so be quick about it. I am. I'm being very quick about it. <laughs> this is a 2021 Rolex Sea Dweller Deep Sea. Oh, is it dwelling in the packet every <laughs> time? You I love value us. <laughs> I love the drugs packet. I haven't opened it yet. This only just landed yesterday. This is a full set box and papers. Um, it's immaculate. Um, this is really cool. Uh, it will be around retail. Um, we're going to do this Just about... marginally over, I think. Yeah, uh, to local, um, well under UK. 10,900. Um, so that's really good. And it's it's like new. Now, um, we have... <laughs> now. That's not going to be dropping this week when this video comes out. I've got a backlog of watches mm. um, because we had a weekend off. Apologies. Uh, we're going to be dropping two watches 
Today? Yes. Today? Today. Yeah, check me out, living oh, in the moment. No, I'm going to get this um, done for today. So, uh, we have, I don't have it here, uh, it's under lock and key uh, safely. Um, it is a Rolex Daytona 2002. It's the discontinued grey slate dial. It is, when I say it's a full set, it has everything. The sexy, antique looking box. The best box. It's got so many booklets and, and paraphernalia with it. It's, it's got, got a rag. Yeah, it's got it's got a hanky. <laughs> it's got its original swing tag. This is, I don't like the term collector's set, but this watch- I think I put museum grade in the description. It is museum grade. There is no stretch on the bracelet. If you want a Daytona and you're not fussed if it's brand new, this is the one because you've got Neo Vintage, no, it's not got the Zenith movement because it's 2002, so it's a couple years after it. Um, after. But it is like new, it's immaculate, it's modern, it's. But you'll know, you won't see anyone else over here with that. Or in, if you're in Jersey, I doubt you'll ever run into anyone with it. Anyway, I digress. We also have the Omega Speedmaster. It, this is the what we call the sapphire sandwich. So rather than Hesselite on the top, it's sapphire and on the back, and you get to see that gorgeous movement. Is that the three eight six one movement? Yes, um, I, I think believe so. it is. It's their, obviously it's their new movement. It's the new bracelet. The year I want to say is twenty one, late twenty one. Yes. Uh, November, I think. Correct. So I originally sourced this for a client um, and they've now decided to move it on. Now, they never wore it on the bracelet, which is great news for you because it's immaculate. Uh, they wore it on a strap. So personally, I would keep it on the bracelet. Uh, it's it's super cool. Now, these are obviously all of the Speedmasters are 42 millimeter, but they are a very good 42 millimeter being if you have a big wrist, it works well. And if you are gifted with slender and fine beautiful wrists it it's also fine. works um so it, it works for everyone super cool now this is coming in way under retail the good news or bad news depends on which way you want to look at it amiga smashed up their retail prices on the first of february mm -hmm. like they they like to do this watch now i believe is over seven thousand two hundred it's about seven thousand two hundred yeah. yeah this is going to be four thousand nine hundred and fifty yes i believe or 95 i think it's 50. we'll call it 4950 let's let's go down if you've watched this video to the end and you can quote 4950 then save another 45 <laughs> um, pounds and obviously it's a complete set i think that's it oh also Ooh. this one will be soon i'm not going to talk about that because i don't want to go too long we've got so many watches right now and there's more this. rolex after that there's loads of we have products. got a lot, haven't we? Well, we have got a lot, and I need to start selling. We've had great... January's been awesome. February is already off to a flying start. I think we've done five watches already. Oh, and we've got this. And we've got oh, We've no. got way too many, but I need to start selling stuff because I've got, <laughs> I've got a lot of uh, stock tied up. I know a lot of my cash tied up in, in stock. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. Please like, comment, subscribe, argue with us in the comments. Uh, call us petulant or confused. <laughs> I'm always confused, petulant, short-sighted, terse. Uh, how about a narcissistic you? bully. <laughs> yes. Uh, Other than that, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy Easter.